I welcome you again, beloved, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this service, they were prepared for you, beloved of God. I am Pastor Jephetha Chola, and I'm born again, and I love the Lord. The ministry which I ministered is called the Foundation of Christ Apostle. We are located in Twapa, next to Prestige Hotel. I welcome you in the name of the Lord. And tonight I stand before you humble and submissive to the living God. And I stand to bring to you the precious living word of the living God. The Lord has laid a word in my heart to come and share with you, beloved, of the things that befall these people prior to the fulfillment of their purpose in life or their destiny, or maybe their breakthrough. They are temptations that the enemy brings in the way of a believer. At the time that God has appointed in the life of a believer to manifest himself. And the heading of the topic tonight, or the message, is temptation that comes just before you set out into your destiny or your purpose in life. The temptation that comes just before you step out into your destiny or purpose of life. And we have a good example of the Son of the Living God who himself was tempted of the devil just when he set out to do the will of God, to fulfill the purpose of his coming, the scripture declared that after the baptism of the Son of the living God, the Spirit of the Lord led him into the wilderness to consecrate him and prepare him for his earthly ministry. And the scripture also declared the Satan also followed him to tempt him in the wilderness. To try him and put him to test as he separates himself and prepares himself for the purpose of God. Before we began his outward ministry, he consecrated himself for 40 days, he was in the wilderness, guided and led by the Holy Spirit, preparing himself to be used of God. Amen. He did not jump into his purpose in life, but he took time to prepare himself and make himself ready for the purpose of God in his life. Every born again Christian, today you have a purpose. You have a born again purpose in this life. You're not a coincident. God is a divine will and purpose for you in life. But there's one thing that you must remember. You must spend time with him. And the enemy will show up when the time is right. He will resist, he will oppose you. He will put you to the test and try to make you deny and turn your back on him who has called you and who has a purpose for your life. You're not living for yourself. You're living for him who called you by your name. Who delivered you and set you free. 
You cannot make it. Let us go to the scripture and read. And we may flow together. 